I am feeling very summery. Um, this looks like a bathing suit, but it's not. Hey you guys, it's B Morgan and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have been wearing neon green the past like three videos, but I love this color. I think it's the color, the color, the season of the green. So yeah. So anyway, um, so this video is going to be on my hair, of course, but um, I want to talk to you guys about this hair. Okay, so today I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot and that is how do you achieve big curly hair? Like what hair do you use to achieve the big curly hair look? And this hair right here is from Ali Annabelle Hair and it's on AliExpress and the best part is that it is very affordable. I believe the four bundles were under $150. It's great, okay? So when I started wearing hair, I would always get like curly hair, but I wanted my hair to be super big and I didn't want the curls to be like too, too small. So what I discovered was if you get deep wavy hair, so not curly hair, deep wavy hair and get it in a shorter length, the curls will come out just like this. So this right here is four bundles of 16 inches and it is deep wave and I absolutely love it. This is my favorite, um, I would say curl pattern even though it's not like technically curly hair, it's wavy hair. But I'll get close so you guys can see like this hair literally has ringlets in it. Okay, so this is the hair and they have these like big curl ringlets in it which I absolutely love. I really haven't picked all the hair out yet but yeah, so cute, big and bouncy. Okay, so instead of getting curly hair, when you get curly hair, usually the curls will be smaller and tighter. Um, so instead I get deep wavy hair. So the hair does come out way bigger and I always make sure that I get four bundles if you want your hair like humongo, like me, big and full. I always get four bundles of hair so I have four bundles of 16 inches and if you straighten it um, it comes down to here right under my bust but this is like a length that I absolutely love so this hair is from AliExpress from Annabelle hair um, one thing about this hair is that it is very very dark um, compared to the other hairs I had and the color I got was a natural hair color because it is you know human hair virgin hair so at first I was kind of like wow this hair is super dark hasn't been dyed but after I made my wig which I did do the flip over method with my wig so I have my hair out in the front which I blend it into my wig um, after I did that I co-washed my hair I always do that so I co-washed my hair and I did not see any hair, not any hair coming out, I did not see any dye coming out. Um, so that was good because like at first I was like, this hair had to be dyed because it is so dark. Like this is, it's not black, but it's like a very, very dark, dark, dark brown hair color. So um, I washed it and I was so happy because nothing came out, no dye came out. Um, Co-washed it, it was so smooth, like it was beautiful. So I love this hair so far. Um, I just made it, it took a few hours to make because I used every single piece of every single bundle to make the hair, but I love how it came out turn around so you can see it's super full you guys see that super full and I love it I love how the curls are like popping it's easy to blend with your hair um, and I noticed like when you do get deep wavy hair of course the shorter the hair you get the tighter curl it will be but this has to be like my favorite curl pattern because it's not too tight and it's not like extra loose it's like the perfect curl pattern and if you want that sleek beautiful wet look just don't comb it out and it will stay like that but me I like to take my diffuser when it's like 
80% dry and go through and like diffuse the hair and scrunch it up. And then throughout the week, I'll just sit here and play with it. And then it will just get bigger on its own from me messing around with it. Um, and another question I get is how do you keep the hair from not getting like frizzy and keeping moisture locked in? Um, Y'all, I love this stuff. I think I showed you guys on another video before, but this is Not Your Mother's Natural Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon Leave-In Conditioner. So anytime you get hair, especially curly hair, please make sure you're using a leave-in conditioner in your hair because your hair is not attached to your scalp anymore or to whoever's scalp it was on. It's not attached anymore so it's not getting all the nutrients and all the good vitamins and stuff in those strands. So you have to make sure you use a hydrating conditioner and a great leave-in conditioner on the hair so it stays moisturized and it hydrated. So please definitely do that. Like I said, this hair was super affordable and super cheap. Um, well, cheap enough, not like cheap, cheap, but it was super affordable. Um, it, it is really good quality hair. Like this is my new um, go-to wig. I had another wig that was a go-to wig from another company that I had for literally years. Like I think I had it for like five or six years. I wear it all the time, but it's starting to like die on me. So I had to get a new deep curly hair so I can, you know, keep my style like this. But I'll leave all the info for this hair below. Please let me know if you have any questions about it. Um, yeah, this hair is bomb. You guys, deep wavy hair. If you want some big curly hair, get some deep wavy hair. I am telling you. It is bomb. You will not regret it. It is amazing. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.